Welcome to Booze Under Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make an Irish buck. In fact, it's almost identical to a Kentucky buck. Now, where does the idea of the Kentucky buck initially come from? A uh, tall glass, which is usually filled with ginger ale or ginger beer, is actually called a horse neck. However, when you add alcohol to it, it becomes a buck. So in fact, if you look at the names for any version of a buck, i.e. a Kentucky buck or an Irish buck, you can generally tell what the base spirit is. A Kentucky buck has bourbon, an Irish buck has Irish whiskey, and so on and so forth. And this will allow you to build any style of buck cocktail that you want. Now this is a build in the glass cocktail. And what we're going to do is grab a highball. Now I have an 11 ounce highball, which is 330 mils. And we're just going to fill this up with a bunch of ice and whoops, anyways we've now filled it with some ice so you want to grab yourself a lime now give your limes a good roll especially if they're tight and hard and this will allow the pulp inside to release the juices better so what we'll do is we will cut this in half then we'll cut a slice for our garnish we'll then squeeze it a third of an ounce or 10 milliliters into the glass your second ingredient to this is Irish whiskey. So reach onto your shelf and dust off your favorite bottle or whatever you just happen to have that you think would go well with your ginger beer. Now in this case, I'm using some writer's tears. It's a little bit floral, nicely smooth, and it'll work perfectly in this. And we're gonna use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliter. Your third ingredient is ginger beer. Now the good thing about this is you can use whatever ginger beer works best for you. So for example, I'm using 1642. I really like it, but you could use something like a fever tree or something like a Jamaican style ginger beer, which is a little bit spicier. That'll give you a little bit more to work with and allow you to adjust to your favorite flavors. Now what we're just gonna do is top this up for approximately two ounces or 60 milliliters. absolutely gorgeous make sure you grab yourself a spoon and what you'll do is you'll just mix this up so you bring all of the ingredients together and then what we'll do is we'll just garnish this with a lime slice like so and then finally you need a straw so you don't spill it everywhere and give it a try and it's really really good even though i just spilled it all over my fingers having said that you get the ginger it's strong there's a slight hint of uh lime in there and the whiskey blends beautifully through the entire thing you could knock these back without even realizing you're drinking alcohol if you like this style of cocktail take a look after the recipe card right up here